Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn about the response of low pass RC network when it is applied with a ramp input. So there are different types of inputs we are seeing one by one. Previously we have seen sign, square, uh, step input and pulse input. Now we are just applying a different type of input This is the ramp input which is having y equal to mx notation. So when such type of input waveform is applied for this low pass RC network, what is the response of this RC network? How the capacitor behaves when a ramp input which is nothing but a constant y equal to mx goes through origin y equal to mx plus c type of signal is applied. So let us consider this is the ramp signal I have applied at the input of this low pass RC network. And the capacitor immediately, I, we know the capacitor does not allow sudden changes. Of course, it is not immediate signal, but uh, the capacitor cannot follow exactly the input waveform. So slowly it deteriorates or it delays some signal like this. After some time, the signal will be following the input waveform. This delay is due to the time constant RC. Okay, always the delay in the response of RC network is because of the product of R and C, nothing but a time constant. Remember, any type of circuit, any type of network. Okay, the product RC decides some time delay. Now, if you see the input and output waveforms and comparing them, this is the input waveform which is having a ramp signal. The ramp is here denoted as VI. Input signal is equal to alpha into T. Alpha into T. Simply Y is equal to MX. Some Y is equal to M into X. X axis we are having time and M we are taking it as alpha slope and Y is nothing but input voltage VI. This is the notation we have got. Y is equal to MX or VI is equal to alpha into T. Now the time delay is due to the product R and C. So RC, this is the output waveform, the bended form is nothing but RC, which is slowly exponential output, you can say, slowly following the input signal after some time. If you take this RC multiplied by the alpha, then it becomes the amplitude of the output signal. The deviation of the input signal, how much is the deviation occurred in the amplitude when compared to the input signal, is nothing but alpha into RC. See, this all is true when RC is very less compared to the input signal period T, period up to this point. If you take RC is very far compared to the input signal T, then this will be the response that will be having in the output. See, see the time gap between the first waveform and second waveform. In the first waveform, after exactly some RC, the input is following the output signal. Sorry, output is following the input signal. Okay, almost the time gap is maintaining equally. But see here, because of the product of RC is very, very far compared to the input signal time period, the output waveform of course deviates after some time and the same deviation is continuing and it is getting more delay it is getting more difference compared to the input signal as the product RC is very, very higher than the input signal time period. Okay, this is the operation and explanation of this RAM signal input when applied to the low pass RC network. Now, let us calculate what is the output voltage that we will be having, what is the expression, how can you derive the expression for the output signal. Okay, suppose if you take the input signal, uh, RAM signal, you can write it as VA is equal to alpha T. But how can you write the expression for this type of signal? What is the expression? What could be the expression for that particular signal? Okay, so now let us try to calculate or find out the output voltage equation. So when a low pass RC network is excited by this RAM input, what happens? VA of t which is varying with respect to time is equal to alpha into t. This is the input waveform what I said. So here alpha, what alpha says? Alpha is nothing but a slope. Alpha is in nothing but a slope. Y, like y is equal to mx, I am nothing but a slope. So v i of s, let us apply a Fourier transform for this signal. Sorry, Laplace transform for this signal. v i of s is equal to what is this one? 
alpha if it is simply alpha then it is alpha by s square but if it, it is alpha into t so alpha by s square okay now the output voltage of a laplace transform network v naught of s is equal to v i of s into so how can you write this one 1 by c s see here already we have seen 1 by c s divided by overall network r plus 1 by c s so what is v i of s v i of s already we have calculated here that is alpha by s square see the calculation part is different for different types of inputs we are not following the same procedure for all the input waveforms depending on the type of input we are applying we are calculating or we are changing the procedural to calculate the output waveform output uh, voltage equation okay remember that so via of s is nothing but alpha by s square and 1 by c s if you take the lcm and simplify this it becomes 1 by 1 plus rcs okay so take rc as common in the denominator so then it becomes uh, alpha by rc as a constant and 1 by s square into s plus 1 by rc okay apply partial fractions for this one partial fractions So, what happens partial fractions means 1 by s square something like a by s square if you take this one I will write in the red color. Um, if you take this particular value and applying partial fractions it becomes a by s square plus b by s plus 1 by rc we have to obtain a and b values. So that we have calculated. I am not telling the partial fractions also because that is not the aim here. Okay, that is equal to alpha by RC into minus RC square divided by S plus RC by okay, okay. When we are having something like A by S square is there. You should write like this okay you have to consider one more uh, variable sorry something like a c by s okay actually it should be a by s plus b by s square plus c by something okay constant doesn't matter so c by s plus a by s square plus c by something because whenever we are having square term we should write like this if we are having cube then three constants we should consider a by s plus b by s square plus c by s cube like that okay hope you understand now it is rc by s square plus rc square by s plus 1 by rc okay multiply with the constant at the outside alpha minus alpha rc by rc square rc square 1 rc left alpha by s plus alpha by s square plus alpha rc by s plus 1 by rc this is all equal to v naught of s now simply apply inverse laplace transform so that we will be having this notation in terms of time period apply inverse laplace transform v naught of t is equal to see here alpha rc minus alpha rc is a constant plus 1 by s is equal to 1 and it is 1 by s square nothing but alpha t plus alpha rc is a constant and 1 by s plus 1 by rc e power minus t by rc okay take alpha common here so t minus rc plus alpha rc to e power minus t by rc 
this is v naught of t when rc value is very very less very very less okay compared to the input signal period t compared to input signal period t then e power minus t by rc becomes zero because 1 by e power t by very small signal so 1 by infinity 1 by infinity it becomes zero then the second term becomes zero at that condition v naught of t is equal to only left with alpha into 1 t minus rc but when the second form is not cancelled that means for rc is very greater compared to t then definitely we need to keep the second value then v naught of t is equal to alpha into t minus rc alpha rc into e power minus t by rc so e power minus x e power minus x you can write it as e power x 1 minus x plus x square by 2 factorial and x cube by 3 factorial like that just for the expansion i am writing here 1 by mm, sorry 1 minus it is t by rc plus t by rc square 1 by 2 factorial plus uh, minus minus t by rc square 1 by uh, cube 1 by 3 factorial and so on okay and if you remove the higher order terms alpha t by c because rc is very very greater when we are having the greater value in the denominator and the higher order go terms going on the value becomes less so take first two terms that is sufficient alpha t minus alpha rc plus i'm just separated these two alpha rc first value minus alpha t and uh, neglecting the higher order terms alpha t square by 2 rc okay neglecting the higher order then alpha t alpha t cancel alpha rc alpha rc cancel and we are left with alpha t square by 2 rc okay so alpha by rc into t square by 2 this is what the ramp signal output voltage in two conditions when rc is less than less than input signal period and when RT, rc is greater than input signal period thank you